Hey, what's up? Today we're looking at Yeelight's new smart LED light bulbs, which I think many of you have been waiting for. And I'm gonna set up the white colored light bulb and the full colored light bulb with the Mi Home app, but also use it with the Yeelight app and voice assistants like Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. Let's go. So there they are, the new Yeelight E27 mount smart LED light bulbs. In the box, there's just a light bulb and a small instruction manual, and that's it. So let's first compare the two side by side with the first generation light bulbs, and you'll see they are not that different in looks. The second generation has this embossed texture that looks pretty nice, but the bulb does seem to be a little bit heavier than the first generation, and I do seem to be correct. The new lights have a yellow ring on the bottom to indicate that this is a white light bulb, and you'll find a purple ring indicating that it's a colored bulb. What has been improved on the second generation? Well, first and foremost, the white colored light bulbs can now be adjusted in brightness as well as the hue of the light. The hue of the white light now ranges from this cool, more bluish light to this warm orange toned light. The new bulbs are supposed to be quite a bit more energy sufficient, possibly saving you up to $1.20 a year, which I guess if you've got like 20 bulbs in your home could save you up to $24 per year. The life expectancy of 25,000 hours should last you for over eight and a half years with an average use of eight hours per day so that sounds pretty good i've compared the perceived brightness of all four of these bulbs and the brightness of the second generation white bulb seems to be slightly brighter at 100 percent 50 percent one percent the second generation colored light bulbs do seem to be a bit brighter at 100% than the first generation and when set to white light its warmest color seems to be a lot warmer as well. When I'm scrubbing through the color spectrum of the new colored bulb at 100% brightness it also seems to be a bit brighter than the first generation bulb as well. So now let's install these light bulbs for remote control and smart home automation and I'm going to be posting an advanced installation guide on these bulbs that you can find right here. So first I'm going to show you how I've installed it in the Mi Home app using the China mainland server so I can use it with the Mi Home ecosystem. You can just install it like any other Wi-Fi device in the Mi Home app and once it's installed you can find it under my devices from where you can control the lights brightness and you save your favorite settings in scenes and set up smart home automation rules. The light bulbs also have several presets that you can select including this pretty interesting candle flicker. From the app, the white light bulbs can be adjusted in brightness from 1 to 100% by swiping vertically. The color of the light can be adjusted from warm to cool by swiping horizontally. The colored light bulbs have a white light mode which is the same as the white bulbs but you can also set it to colored mode. Here you can adjust the color and set the brightness. And the colored light bulbs also have a color flow mode which will flow between four set colors at a certain speed. When it's installed with the Mi Home app using the China mainland server, I can use it with the Xiaomi AI speaker with Xiaomi's Xiaoi or the Yeelight voice assistant with either Xiaomi's Xiaoi or Microsoft Cortana AI. But those are both still in Chinese. If you are outside of China, you can also install it with the Yeelight app using the Singapore or US servers. This limits the use with other Xiaomi Media ecosystem products, but does allow you to use it with Google Home, Amazon Alexa, and IFTTT. Apple HomeKit is supposed to be added in the months to come as well. Fast forward, here I am on another account using the Yeelight app, and I gotta make sure the server is set to USA or Singapore or Germany. And from the devices tab, I can add a new device, after it's installed, it will appear as a new light in the app from where you can change the brightness, you set up scenes, all the good stuff that you'd expect. Once you have the bulbs installed on a non-Chinese server, you can now set up your Yi light bulbs to be controlled with Google Home. This allows you to say, hey Google, turn on my lights in the living room. Okay, turning on three lights. Hey Google, set the table lights to 100%. Sure, setting two lights brightness to 100%. You can also change the color of the white bulbs from blue cool light to warm white light. Okay, changing two lights to soft white. The colored light bulbs have the same tones of white light and a range of colors that you can set by voice as well. Another cool thing is that when you set up scenes in the Yeelight app, these can be controlled by Google Assistant as well. So you can say, hey Google, turn on movie night or turn on the dinner lights, turn on the romantic lights. Now you can add these lights to groups to make rooms if you've not already set these up and uh, you can actually say hey turn on the lights in the living room or turn on the lights in the bedroom. 
Setting it up in Amazon Alexa is pretty similar. You gotta make sure that you have installed the bulbs in the Yeelight app using the Singapore or US or German server. After which you can add a new skill to your Amazon Alexa. And in that list, you can find the Yeelight skill. Once you've added those, it should actually automatically find the light bulbs that you have in your account and you're good to go. Alexa, turn on the lights in the bedroom. Okay. Set the lights in the bedroom to night light. Okay. So now for my conclusion about the new Yee Light bulbs. I love that the new white bulbs can now be adjusted in you. It's something that I feel is long overdue, but yeah, it's finally here. The lights are more energy sufficient and that is always a big plus. The Google Home and Amazon Alexa integration is actually not new. You can do that with the first generation bulbs as well, but it's really nice and it really shows that Yee Light is making some progress. The only thing I really don't like is that you can only use it with the China mainland server with all the other Xiaomi ecosystem products and that you can use it on the Singapore or US servers for use with Google and Amazon, but then it doesn't work with the media products. I'm actually not too thrilled to see that the new light bulbs are heavier than the previous models. Perhaps this is because they're more energy sufficient? I don't know. I actually did expect that this second generation would work as a Bluetooth hub as well, but I guess that might be something we could see in the future maybe. And as for the price, the second generation light bulb is a little bit more expensive than its predecessor, but I guess it kind of evens out with what you might save on electricity. So altogether, I'm really loving the new light bulbs and I'm really looking forward to see the Apple HomeKit integration later this year as well. So that's it for the new Yee Light light bulbs. If you want to know a little bit more about how to install them, you can check out this video that I'm posting right here. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see y'all soon. Peace.